The heat presses down on you like an invisible weight. The sun hangs high in the sky, merciless and unrelenting, its golden light stretching across an endless sea of tall, swaying grasses. Scattered acacia trees the landscape, their twisted branches casting sparse shadows on the cracked earth. A warm breeze rolls through, rustling the dry vegetation and carrying the distant cries of unseen creatures. You wipe the sweat from your brow and scan the horizon. Somewhere in the distance, a herd of antelope grazes, their heads bobbing cautiously as they listen for danger. The land is alive with movement, small mammals darting between shrubs, birds hopping along low branches, but something feels off. The usual symphony of the savanna, the hum of insects, the chatter of birds, the distant grunts of grazing animals, has faded into an eerie quiet. Then, you see it. Not far from where you stand, a set of massive footprints is pressed into the dry earth. Too big for a lion, too deep for a simple baboon. You crouch down for a closer look, running your fingers along the edge of one of the prints. The shape is unmistakable. This was left by something with a powerful, weighty stride. A sudden bark echoes across the plain. Your stomach twists. That sound isn't from a dog, nor a hyena. It's deeper, guttural, almost human in its intensity. You slowly rise to your feet, scanning the sparse tree line. Then movement. A figure lumbers between the trunks. Huge, covered in dark fur its long limbs moving with an unsettling combination of speed and power. Another bark, closer this time. You're not alone. The grass is part ahead, and there it is. A towering primate, twice the size of a modern baboon, its golden eyes locked onto yours. Its massive jaws part slightly, revealing long, razor-sharp canines. This is no ordinary monkey. This is Dinopithecus engines. And right now, you are standing in its territory. This is it. How will you survive the attack of the terrible ape? To understand the true nature of Dinopithecus engines, we must step away from the heat of the Pleistocene savanna and travel to a much cooler environment, a cave hidden beneath the South African landscape. It was here in the early 20th century that paleontologists uncovered the first clues about this extinct primate. The discovery of fossilized skulls and teeth buried in ancient sediment hinted at an ape far larger than any modern baboon. In 1937, the British paleontologist Robert Broom was the first to officially describe this beast, giving it the scientific name Dinopithecus, which translates to terrible ape, and the name was well chosen. Unlike the baboons of today, which max out at around 30 kilograms, some Dinopithecus males could weigh up to 77 kilograms. That's heavier than the average human. But size alone wasn't what made Dinopithecus terrifying. The analysis of its massive skull revealed an animal built for both intelligence and power. Like modern baboons, it had large canines, suggesting that while it primarily ate fruits and plants, it was more than capable of supplementing its diet with small animals, or, if necessary, using those teeth for defense. What made it even more dangerous was its habitat. Unlike apes that preferred dense forests, Dinopithecus thrived in open grasslands, much like modern baboons and gelatas. This meant it likely spent most of its time on the ground, moving in large troops, foraging for food, and defending itself against the many predators of the Pleistocene. Imagine lions, hyenas, and even early humans sharing the same territory. The competition for survival would have been fierce. But how exactly did it defend itself? Modern baboons provide a clue. They are highly social, living in groups where the strongest males protect the troop from threats. They use intimidation tactics, loud calls, flashing their teeth, and even chasing off intruders. If cornered, Baboons don't hesitate to fight, and their bites are powerful enough to seriously injure or kill. If Dinopithecus behaved similarly, it wouldn't have been an easy opponent. It may have relied on sheer size to deter threats, but if forced into a confrontation, its speed, intelligence, and deadly bite would have made it a formidable adversary. So now that we know what we're dealing with, 
a massive, intelligent, and potentially aggressive primate that roamed the open savannas. Let's return to our story. How will you survive this encounter? The Dinopithecus stares you down, its golden eyes locked onto yours. You freeze, unsure of what to do next. Running blindly could be a mistake. This primate is fast, likely faster than you. Fighting is out of the question. Its sheer strength would easily overpower you. You need a plan. Desperate, you hit the ground and stay completely still. Maybe, just maybe, it will lose interest if you don't move. After all, some predators ignore prey that doesn't react. You hold your breath, trying to remain motionless. The Dinopithecus approaches cautiously, sniffing the air. For a moment, you think the plan is working. But then, with a sudden burst of aggression, it lets out a sharp bark and lunges forward, swiping at the ground near you. It's testing to see if you're truly lifeless. You flinch, and that's all it takes. The Dinopithecus knows you're alive. It's not fooled. You need another strategy fast. Your mind races. You remember that baboons and other primates are intelligent creatures. They react strongly to threats, but also know when a fight isn't worth it. You also recall something else, fire. Many animals instinctively fear flames. If you can make yourself look like a threat, maybe you can scare it off. Quickly, you reach for your backpack and pull out a lighter. With shaking hands, you grab a handful of dry grass and set it ablaze. The small flame flickers to life. You wave it in front of you, making yourself appear larger, louder, and more dangerous. The Dinopithecus hesitates, taking a cautious step back. It lets out another bark, but this time, there's uncertainty in its voice. Then finally, reluctantly, it backs away. Your heart pounds as you slowly retreat, keeping the fire between you and the beast. You don't turn your back until you're sure it's gone. Only then do you let out a breath you didn't even realize you were holding. You survived. This time. And with that, our journey through time comes to an end. Dinopithecus may be extinct, but its legacy lives on in the baboons of today. It was a creature that thrived in harsh conditions, using its intelligence and social structure to survive against both predators and competitors. If you enjoyed this adventure and want to explore more incredible extinct animals, don't forget to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel. There are many more prehistoric beasts waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious and stay safe.